Okay, so we got 2007 Nissan Titan. Uh, I got a front pinion seal that's leaking. I'll replace that today. First thing I'm going to do is take off this skid plate. Just got to loosen the front two bolts a little bit. in here and we'll go back to it. Move those off the side. Slide this out. <clears throat> Okay, next we're gonna drain the diff. Got a drain pan on top of some cardboard over here. Get in here with a breaker bar first, loosen it up. Just a three eighths inch drive. Okay, that should be good. Get the other ratchet. that drain out. already loosened the drive shaft off camera. It wasn't too bad. So has a big leak so it keeps coming on and off. It's a pain in the ass. The dry shaft. Bring it a little closer. Yeah, see that thing is leaking all over the place. 
I'm gonna get in here with my amp hack, throw a socket on there. Where's that thing right out? I'll be back. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention that I did off camera is you want to mark the pinion shaft, the pinion nut, and the flange with nice lines right in between. So I took a little chisel, mark right here, mark right here on the nut, and put a little notch right here on the uh, flange. And I count the threads, so I got three threads showing, one, two, three. So I marked that down on my little piece of cardboard down here. So whenever I zip this off, and I replace the seal, and then once I put it all back on, I can just torque it, everything right up, make sure everything's lined right up, torque this nut, run it down right so everything lines up, three threads are shown, boom, done, good to go. Let's try to get this nut off. If you look close right here, there's a little notch I put in it. Let's get this puller hooked up and get this off. Okay, get the puller on. Let's try getting this thing off. Some of the forums online are talking about it being a real bitch. And this one's coming off really easy. Maybe too easy, I don't know. Stupid airline. Listen to it. Flange, seal guard right here. Looks like it's everything in good shape. Oh, one mess. Let me grab my pants a little bit. Let me grab my gloves too. Hate to smell this shit. All right, I'm gonna get on board trying to get that seal off. Probably gonna take me a little while, so we'll come back. Okay, I fought with it for about 10 minutes. It wasn't too bad. Uh, came out not too bad. There's the old one. I got it right in here with a chisel, bent that up, and hit it with a snap on pry bar. Got it right out of there. I already hit that up with some brake clean right around here. Cleaned that all up. Wiped it off really nice so it's nice and clean. Got my new seal right out of the package. I'm gonna get this camera out of the way and install it right quick. Okay, we're back. Not too bad, seal went up pretty nice. It's a little close in this one side right here in this lip. Unfortunately, I don't have a proper seal installer. So I just lightly tapped with a ball peen. I thought I had a brass hammer on here. I don't know what happened to it. But I use a brass drift when you get right around this edge. Get down in there so you don't have any distortion. And then there's the double check, make sure it was seated the right way. I just use a scribe, just hit around the edge, make sure it's all seated real nice. And it is. Next, we're gonna install the flange. 
Remember I said earlier, we're just going to line it up. There's lines we put in earlier. I can see the one right here. So hopefully that line's right up without being too much of a pain in the ass. But we'll see. And the seal is already greased. It came greased right out of the package. So. Check my line, and that is it. So let's get this thing on there. Let's seat this down. I'll turn this camera off. It's making too much racket. I need to get all that on tape. I'll come back when it's on. Okay, I ran that down with a ratchet. Got the uh, pinion nut installed. I went down a little ways. Remember earlier I said we got the lines all lined up. There's a line right here on the, the uh, tail shaft and then there's a line that's on the nut and we got three threads that we're showing. Right now there's two threads according to my scribe right here so I'm just going to take the impact, gently tighten that up. But, uh, there's lines are in line and it better be uh, three threads showing. Let's get her done. inch to go. Another quarter inch. Give my another eighth. drive shaft hardware I had that marked where was it paint when it came off a little bit. That's all right. It's got to be right there. Stop this camera and I'm gonna put the rest of these in and start tightening them down. Okay, I got three bolts in the dry shelf tight. I got one more I need to tighten. The one at the top. I, already, I marked it red earlier whenever I had to loosen it. I see I'm up on 
ramp, so it's a little hard to get to. If I had it on Jackson's, I could just rotate it real easily, but it kind of worked out. I mean, all tight like this, getting that little nuts loose. Well, what I'll do is I'll put in, I'm going to clean all this mess up right here. I'm going to put in uh, two pints of oil, get it down on a flat surface, down onto the street level, top it off, and then make, make sure that all these bolts are tightened. Rotate the drive shaft, move forward a little bit, tighten, boom, 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 done, done, done. So let's uh, get the old can of brake clean. Over we'll top of my dirty ass pan right here. Let's get to it because I got oil all over this cross member. Put the pumpkin right here. Way out here on the AOM, I had there was slinging the oil, so it was getting pretty bad. And I don't know how long it was going for. I did an oil change last week and I know it was wet, and so that's came to this, so let's get this cleaned off. Uh, you don't need to see that. I'll pause until we start filling it. Okay, it's about as clean as it gets right now until I can take it to the place to hit it with a pressure washer. Got the fill plug out right here. I'm gonna put it in. in case that was a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm still up on the ramps. Got about almost a quart in there. I'm gonna take my gloves off, go wash up. Pull the truck down into the street so it's flat. Finish this job up. Recap after I'm done. See ya. Okay, that's it. Topped it off with oil. Put the skid plate on. I didn't film any of that stuff. I'm sure you get the gist of that. Now I need to uh, just clean up my mess. Jesus, look at all these shits everywhere. Alright, hope you learned something. Bye.